keeping it. But I got the iPad over here, so. Okay, so we are live. Now, we may not have many here UK-wise because it's tea time UK-wise. It's five o'clock in the evening. So just the notice, there's always that that delay, isn't there? So we'll just give people a, a minute or two to, to find us. So what's it? It's, mid, it's midday, midday-ish for you, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's high noon. <laughs> Aha. So we have one Facebook stalker. Good evening. Welcome. I'm just trying to show how to – I'm trying to get this um, – to share on my um, iPad and it's being difficult. Have you noticed sharing your lives has suddenly become difficult? I've got to say I tend not to because I'm so busy waffling and gabbing. I don't even think about sharing. <laughs> so yeah. people do, do tend to, but I, I, I tend, I don't. So uh, just bear with me a moment. Yeah, you carry on. I'll, I'll do the intros in a minute. So welcome guys. I'll, I'll do the intros in a minute just while, uh, while Rhonda tries to share to her page because she's based out in Canada um obviously we're here in blighty so uh she's just trying to <laughs> the joy of technology blighty england oh it is in england yeah it's just, it's just blighty is just a slang for england oh oh never even heard that one before <laughs> that is a war a so second world war slang i think oh there we are got it i can you're share. done put your glasses on girl oh <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, there's that a screen. So much wow. <laughs> Apologies. Sometimes so I'm come on and say, come on and say hi, guys, if you're watching, so we know who we're with. Because it's always, as I say, every time we're being Facebook stalked, it's slightly disconcerting. <laughs> so do pop on and say good evening, good morning, or wherever you are in the world. And I'll do the intros in just a minute. Okay. I, I think, just about got it. I think Rhonda's there. So while you're while you're just while you're um sorting your your iPad out, Rhonda. So yeah. hi guys, welcome once more to Dragon Studio and Dragon HQ. I know this is a slightly strange time for me to be doing a live at five o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon or a Tuesday evening. Um, but the reason I'm doing a five o'clock live is because I'm joined by um, Rhonda from Roros in Ontario, Canada, who has the most amazing dragon skulls. I've just seen the was while we were late coming on. Because so I was going, oh, look at these dragon skulls. It's like, oh, my God. Um, so we'll be talking about dragon skulls and um, crystal skulls. Of course, we'll be talking about the deck. Because I connected and, and hooked up um, with with Rhonda about three years ago. Yeah, I think it's been that long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, because Rhonda stocked my deck as a, as a, as a retailer. Uh, in Canada, so she's my probably one my very first overseas my overseas stockist of the original deck. Nice, <laughs> that's awesome. So, um, which is a bit cool. We were just talking before we came on also about um, the differences between the two decks because Rhonda's got the original deck for herself, but hasn't got the new deck yet. And so we were just talking about the differences. So we'll do we'll do a little bit of uh, a bit of that as well. So, Rhonda, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Tell me a little bit about uh, Row Row. Tell the guys a little bit about Row Rows and your journey and the skulls and the dragons and oh, that's whatever. <laughs> well, hi, and uh, thank you so much for having me on here. Mm. Um, Row Rows is kind of a bit of an anomaly. It's a medical, metaphysical shop in a tiny little seaside town that has maybe 600 people in the summertime and probably 150, maybe 300 in the wintertime. Um, I'm an hour's drive from anywhere, but I'm the biggest metaphysical shop probably in southwestern Ontario. So wow. most of the area I am. We have over 300 crystal skulls here that are five inch and bigger. And I don't even have an idea how many smaller ones that we would have. Um, <clears throat> we came to be here. Uh, it was all just kind of magically just kind of happened. Do you know how it is? <laughs> you do your work, good things happen. <laughs> yeah. And it kind of evolved through that. I did want to mention when you said about the cards, we do have the new deck in inventory. I was just hold I was just letting people get them first before I grabbed my deck because so if people wanted to order the deck from us, we have them on the website here. It just we don't have I don't have my own personal yet because I didn't order in enough. But we have mm -hmm. lots on the go. So Fantastic. So, how have you found the decks going out there? Have they have they been sort of you know have they been steady, steady or been a bit slow or? We sell a lot of decks here. Okay. Um, the dragon deck, um, 
has been moving along pretty good. It is one of those ones. It's a big picture, right? These are big. So if you're a muggle, as I jokingly call about people that are just getting started, I find sometimes like for somebody like that, they wouldn't need to pull one as often, right? But it'd be, it's a great tool if you're learning to meditate or you're just trying to wake up or everything's going pear-shaped because, you know, you can pull one dragon card and you can meditate with that card for like a week easily, right? Absolutely. You still have so much to get, right? So it's, they're very powerful. So it's not a message that's to be taken super lightly. It's like, oh, I got a butterfly card. No, it's not. It's a dragon card and it's completely different. Yes. Right? That makes sense. <laughs> It absolutely. Um, Actually, I need you on my PR because you say that's so much better than me. Well, I find like when I did my Reiki teacher training too, like that was a great time for each person that like we sat around the table and each person got a card and it was very enlightening as to where they were on their journey and what was going on with them. And yeah, and it helped them kind of understand where they needed to, where they were standing as a healer as well. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. There is quite a because there is there's so many layers, not just to the not just to the no to the deck, um, oh, upside down deck. Sorry, not just the deck. But there's so many layers to dragons as a um, as a whole, isn't there? Oh yeah, yeah. Very much. You know, I was I was out with a with a girlfriend today. We're we're preparing for a what we're we preparing for. We're preparing for a 10k walk next Thursday. We're, we're raising money for, for Shelter, which is a housing crisis um, charity in the UK. And we wanted to raise 80 quid. I think we've raised 190 so far. Anyway, so we did this, um, I thought it was a 6K walk this morning. Actually, it was a bloody 9K walk, so about nine miles. Uh, uh, no, six miles and about just over 9K. Um, I was talking, we were talking about the dragons because she's interested, but again, hasn't she's like a bit of a newbie. So she's finding a way. She's big into yoga, but she's finding a way with the other stuff. And I was talking to her about the dragons because uh, she's asking me about, about the cards and the book and whatever. And as I was talking, like, sort of going into sort of depth of it, I suddenly, I, I think it really hit me the different layers. When you start actually, because you live this stuff all, you know, like you, like I do, live this stuff daily. We become accustomed to the layers and the, and the depths and the nuances of the dragons. But actually, there's so many layers and depths to them, isn't there? That I, it, oh, yeah. it sort of came fully into my awareness today. That it's like, oh, my God, yes, of course. Uh, but I hadn't articulated it to anybody, and which was quite, which was quite cool. So it's, and it's interesting. What I like is the fact that the dragons are inclusive. And they you know they work with, they work with the archangels. They work with skulls. They work with whatever whoever wherever so they're not fussy really mm -hmm. and i actually where's that skull you just showed me the dragon and the, uh, holding the, the skull oh my god have you yes, got that sir. hand oh my goodness you've got to look at this guys and if you can see this you've got a you've got a dragon actually holding holding a crystal skull there Oops, and you, did you say that was himalayan quartz yes it's himalayan quartz carved in india and he's standing on a lotus oh god yeah and he's he's an adore like the 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 indian carvings for the dragons are just gorgeous like they're whoop. god they're very different actually aren't they they're almost beaky with their with their snout aren't they yeah there's always a little bit of a well it depends i've got a few here i can show you from india but this guy here it kind of really does show because it kind of we both kind of had the epiphany about it as i was showing it to you it's like well you know like the dragons are like a higher level even almost than the skulls. It's like they're helping the skulls connect with us yeah. because the dragons always come because we do meditations. Um, we do the crystal skull meditations here every Sunday night um, at 6 p.m. for no charge. <laughs> People come in and they can and they could sit with any dragon or skull that we have and the dragons come like and it's weird because when there's a lot of dragon people here then it happens you can hear like on the roof like you can hear like something it sounds like something's literally landing on the roof the whole it's a wood building it's got wood floors wood ceilings wood walls and wow. when we're meditating sometimes you just hear this huge crack and it's like ooh, <laughs> who's arrived <laughs> agree, that's what it is <laughs> amazing it's quite incredible isn't it mm -hmm. so do so do share us a little bit about your skulls dragons or or otherwise okay. so this guy whoops is super popular Ugh. We have smaller ones like him, but this guy here, I can't remember. I think he's, he's about five or six kilo. He might even be eight, but he is hollow on the bottom, okay. but he is moss agate. And if you see, he's, he's a big boy. My and, God, uh, look at the that. The detail is just incredible. 
So do they have names, uh, Rhonda? Do you, do you um, name them? Or do they name them, have names themselves? I find their names are difficult to articulate for me because mm -hmm. I was looking at my original Himalayan Quartz one that came in. Um, and he's in my healing room and where, where I do my treatments and he assists me in there. And yeah, his, 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 his name has in his has like these uh, names and I'm like, oh, maybe later. <laughs> I think maybe he's just not prepared to let me know what his name is right at the moment, right before I go live. But it had yeah. some real uh, not sounds. I'm like, I don't Call know. Him George. <laughs> I can't figure it out right now, but thank you for trying to tell it to me right before I go live. Well, dragons. <laughs> I'm like, so it's got some uh, in it, but uh as far as dragons go, I'm going to show you a couple more, though. Is that okay? Yep, oh, do. Please, 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 because you've got the most, you know, amazing carvings and different carvings that I've never seen before. So this fella here, this is solid garnet. Wow. So very, very dark red. And whoops. Oh, God. Don't drop him. <gasps> Hot. <laughs> it's so solid. It's okay. But he's, um, the garnet that I get from these carvers is like, it is solid, dark, and very red. Like it's a very solid, and he's he's not very big, but he's a uh, yeah, he's a uh, that's kind of one of the what they are like. Hold on, so is that for a different different carver? Same carver. Oh, is it? So it's got different styles. styles. So this is now these are my these there's two here, and these guys are the ones that just blow my mind, and I've never seen them anywhere else. These are dark green tourmaline. Holy shit! How much are they? <laughs> Um, this little dragon's head here, he is 271, which is Canadian dollars. So your Two, money is two and a half times more than mine. 271. What's that? 271 or 2000? 271. And then you would what divide dollars? that by, I think, 2.1 or something to a pound. That's $271? Yes. And, and that is tourmaline? Canadian. And it's green tourmaline. He's not very big, but he's very That's a good cute. price. Yeah. We like, like now they're, they're, this is one of the other ones. So we have full dragons. And see, now there's this type of head. And he's been through some stuff. You can see his, his horns are a little, he's kind of, he's, but he's green tourmaline as well. Right. And look at the bottom. Wow. Like, the carver and I, 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 I really thought that this was seraphonite because. It really looks like seraphonite. And I had some other ones and they were a lighter green and I swore they were seraphonite, but he swears that they're green tourmaline. <laughs> Either okay. way, holy crap. <laughs> they make now this one, this size here is $860 in Canadian dollars, which is like yeah. I said, about half. But he's yeah, about, yeah, of course. He's about one and a half, two kilos. See, I've never seen carvings like that because because we've got, got the, the the skulls here in the UK, yeah. And there's one or two carvings that are out there, and I think, oh my god, they're just so naff. Because I'm really funny about how dragons, whether whether it be crystal skulls or or anything else, you know, ornaments or whatever, it, even pictures of dragon. Yeah. And I'm really particular on what I, I've got very, very fixed, as I do, very fixed ideas on what I like and what I don't like. Yeah. And see, oh my God, that, see, so I, I here, want that. This guy is phenomenal and he's full of rainbows, Himalayan quartz carved in India. And now this is more like, this is around 2300. Like the thing is, is because all this stuff just kind of ends up with me. Like these carvers find me, like people find me and I don't even know how or why sometimes. And it's not my job to question why I get these things, but oh this is a place that is meant to, you know, I want that dragon. <laughs> well, he looks just, he's the same style as a lot of the dragons on your cards. eh? he's got that I, beautiful yeah. flowy and he's full of rainbows. Just gorgeous. So he's 20, he's 20, do you say 2300? <laughs> yeah, 2335 is what he's. Okay, so it's $2,335. He's about so he's about 15, 1600 quid then. Probably, yeah. Maybe even oh. a little bit less depending on the. On the, the exchange rate. Time. The US oh. dollar is really freaking high still. It's killing me. But So do you ship all over the world? I sure do. There we go, ladies and gents. You can get the most incredible. You're not having that Himalayan quartz one because that that is earmarked for me. <laughs> I will save up my pennies. 
and <laughs> get them. So tell me about your healing dragon. I know we, we were going to talk about the cards, but this is much more interesting. <laughs> okay, so what I found and I learned from um, a crystal skull lady that I kind of tripped and fell on years ago. That's She's somebody that I still connect with. Um, she doesn't live very close to here, and but I just, I love her. Anyway, she was showing me, because I had, they had me come up with this really dumb question to ask, because it's, because so, I needed to learn something. So I had had two boxes of skulls come in. I had 10 obsidian and 10 rose quartz skulls come in, and they were packaged terribly, and they were broken. Um, so like noses smashed off, jaws smashed off. The obsidian ones were like, some of them were almost pulverized. Like it was just like, oh my God. Okay. So anyway, I put them all outside and I, I set them all in a spot because I knew that they were still important. I just didn't know what I was supposed to do with them. And at the time, um, we used to be called Roro's Glass Art and Crystal Skulls because I used to do glass art. And so they got me to ask this lady, they're like, Ask her if you can cut us up to make glass, like to put in a piece of art, right? And I said to her, I said, you know, can I do that? And she's like, ah, uh, well, you have to ask them. And I'm like, oh. And then she explained to me about what a warrior skull is. So there's a lot of people that are all about perfect, 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 right? Well, where some of the best skulls come from are the ones that are not perfect, right? So ones that have gotten dropped or ones that have had something happen, they're considered to be warrior skulls and they are much better at healing because they have a little bit more understanding of the frailty of the human condition. Oh, okay. I've gone goosebumpy. I like that. And so like with my oldest son, his dad had passed away and, and when something happens to somebody, I get, it's like, Oh, I have to go into my special place where I keep them. And when my son's dad passed away, I went and I got him a rose quartz one and she had a broken nose and a piece off her jaw. And I gave it to him and, and he all night long, he just kept going to it and he couldn't stop touching it. And it just gave him great comfort. Yeah, I know. Right. And so that's their purpose. That's what they're, that's what they do when they're like that. So the reason why that dragon is my healing dragon is because it was one of the first dragons I ever got in and he came in broken. He had horns broke off and he just, and he was in a beautiful, beautiful wooden box. There's absolutely no reason why this dragon should have come and damaged and boom there he was wow. but he's he's damaged i have a labradorite one that only has one horn i have a fluorite one that has broken horn like but those are the ones that are coming to work in my healing space for some reason if it comes in broken it's okay because that means it's got a special job and my big um my big chinese one i think i showed you this one last time let me see if I can bring it into camera. Mm. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. Two hands. Mm. Oh, hold on. I'm going to have to change my leg position. <laughs> so this one, similar thing happened. Oh, okay. So this one. Holy here. shit, yes. Okay. Wow. <sighs> so you can imagine when I seen her, I was like, oh my God, we must have her for the store. But her, she came in, and I think it's the whole top of her jaw was broken. Oh, my God. Yeah. So that oh, means... I'll, let me just shut my dogs. My dogs are starting to bark. <laughs> okay. Just a sec. Uh, oh. That's okay. I'm trying to put this down. It's so heavy. Molly, leave. Molly, leave it. <sighs> Noisy girl. I still have the hair, but not quite so much. That's okay. <coughs> If we were, if I was doing this at my house, it'd be, it, there'd be five cats standing on me looking in the camera and my dogs would be barking outside. So. <laughs> wow. So she's stunning. What, what, what she made? Is she tiger eye? No, this one here is a septarian. So oh, we see it. Ancient mud from Utah. Oh. So it's that beautiful, they call it Dragonstone. Yeah. I've got a large septarian here, actually. I've loved septarian. I didn't know it's Dragonstone. I didn't. I didn't know that. Uh, that's what I've, been, I've heard it called. Oh my god! See, because that's my. I've got a septarian. Where is it? My grandma going that way? Because so I've got that one. Oh, okay. Let me see. Okay, it's like an egg, right? Yeah. Oh, so cool. it's a, yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize it was. I didn't realize it was um called dragonstone. Old like, like a, I didn't realize it was a dragonstone. There you go. I never knew that. Well, that's why I was drawn to it. Obviously. <laughs> Hang there on, 
I wanted to just pull up my page on my lap, my, my iPad real quick, just so I can see if we're getting any questions. Because on yeah. our app here, I can't see if there's any questions. No. So we can get we can get the questions from my guys, but not from your guys. So guys, why while um Rhonda's looking, have you got any questions for oh uh Rhonda's in Ontario, Canada, darling? Um Michelle was uh, asking. So just say hello to people. So we've got Kelly, Sean, uh Ray, Wendy, Michelle. Who else That's on Sue? Hi Sue, Faye, Patricia, Anna. So uh if you've got any questions for um for Rhonda Shout, because I'm I'm only on for about another sort of fifteen minutes because I'm then teaching at six. So um Okay. No worries. As long as, as long as I'm done by quarter to six, so I've got time to go have a get get a quick drink before I start again at six. So while people are typing um typing questions, should we have a quick chat about the cards? Because obviously we yes. were talking about the differences in the cards, weren't we? Yes. yes. You were asking what asking me what the differences were. I don't think this is sharing on my page, but that's. Oh okay. no! I'll have to share it after. Yeah, because it's on on Streamyard on here, I can't share it for you either, lovely. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Yeah. It, sometimes it's just. Oh, hang on! I'll, no, I can I can share a screen. I can share screen, but I can't share. Um. Yes, I'll get. I'll ask um, Rhonda to put a link up to the shop on on here for you. And she's asking how much your garnet dragon is, love. The Michelle garnet Hopkins. in Canadian is 249. So that's less than a hundred pounds, I believe. How much? Two what? 249. Well, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. And I have I, I have beautiful little baby ones that are like just they're just they're not very big at all. And they are um they're like $65 Canadian, up to like a hundred dollars, and they're just wee ones. Now I also have in the the carved in asia ones i have oh i have like all sorts of different stones in those ones as well and this big boy here oh, 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 this fella right see i think that's i love that and he's carved in asia as well and he's 13. he's 1300 canadian dollars so about 700 quid roughly yeah which wow. is still, it's, a, it's a handful of cash i know but i like it, i got the whole like this is what i'm supposed to be doing so Oh, I think I, okay, so one of my people, oh, so I have one of my people did comment on it. Yep, they are there. Cool, yeah, she, she can see, Nick, is that Nicole? She can see it on my rose page. How amazing. Perfect. Yep, so Patricia's there. Fantastic. Now, you've got Nicole as well. Fantastic. Wonderful. So, cards, the, yes. the difference. So you've got the old deck and I've got the new deck. Right. Do Shall we do a comparison? Look? So we'll start with, with balance. Oh, dear. Oh, God, I always get this wrong. So there's balance. So what you've got with um with these, one card at a time, it's so much easier. Okay. So what you've got, if you've taken the border off. Oh, the border's off? You're taking the border I'd like off. To do, I'd like to do apples to apples, but I, I have to find that card. So bear with me. Yeah. So you chat and I'm going to look. Okay. So because what? Because it's funny, because when Terrace and I were looking at doing the third print run, because we did two print runs ourselves, we were looking at doing the third print run. I said to him, I wonder if we should take the border off. Because I feel like it's restricting the dragons. Yeah, see, then we've got the colour difference as well, you see. And um, what's happened, the um, Watkins have brought the cards further forward and the colours in the new deck. Like, we were really, really pleased with how the first set of cards turned out. You know, we'd, we'd never done this before. We were, we were indie print, you no, know, we're indie publishers. We'd never, we didn't know what we were doing. We just sort of felt our way with it. And so... When and I was really sort of a bit worried that what would happen when they were published by you know, obviously a professional big publishing house in London, and I but I did wonder if if they would lose something, which they they really really haven't. And they what they've done is they brought the card forward, and the colours are just they're much much brighter in the new deck. So the yeah, I can't messages, see very well. Hold on, I'm going to see if I can see on the laptop. Oh yeah. Yeah, so for the okay. messages, the messages of the dragons themselves haven't changed. I think one or two have had a bit of an update. They've been put into their clans. So now we've got the four clans. Of course, that will impact on the reading. If you're doing a reading with more than, you know, more than two, one or two cards, the impact will have on a reading, because whether you've got earthwalks or whether you have galactics or whatever, you've got, you know, more than one of each. So um, 
another one that i think really pops there's there's a couple here is that the cop the gold of um the gold of confidence says so number six he, he hasn't he's um still number six because some of them have been renumbered so i had to shift around the deck a little bit yeah so he's much more goldy where he's more he looks more yellowy in that deck in the original deck he's uh more goldy he's more goldy in that deck so yeah, so there's and energy wise, the energy because I did wonder if they would actually because the amount of people that I had you know messaged me and said, My God, you know, the energy of these cards is phenomenal. I, I I haven't I don't have to I haven't had to cleanse them, I haven't had to do this, that, and the other with them. It, they're just so powerful. And I did wonder once they'd gone through this sort of bigger, bigger print process and was out of my hands, if it would actually if maybe it would change something and i'm still getting messages from people saying my god the energy of these cards is phenomenal which I is think, i think fantastic. where the difference is between a lot of different cards and there's like there's three there's four decks that i pretty much use consistently and what it is is the intent yes okay because your intent is very pure and it's coming from the right place and the decks that i use are all very like the one other deck I use, I bought from that artist and she had passed, she's passed away just over a year ago, but I bought all of them for her, from her. And I, and, but they were hers. Do you know what I mean? Like you can feel. And now that she's passed, I can actually hear corrections because she's corrected some of hers, which I'm really glad because there's a few that were a little wonky, but, but it was where she lived and how they did things. But yeah. So the intention is really, really important. And I think that the intention with these cards is what makes them so magical because you know yeah. these aren't just a if you think about like people that don't make cards anymore or that and that used to make a lot of cards and they were like putting out a new deck every five minutes well those people were making cards for a completely different intention right there's people that are just you know you are trying to show people the wisdom and love and brilliance of the dragons to help them with their 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 lives right so absolutely it's different, it's different than if someone's just making cards to try to make money and yeah. making money is wonderful. There's nothing wrong with making money. But, you know, the intention was about sharing the wisdom. Yes. And that's what makes a real good magical deck. Absolutely. And this is this is what I think really dawned on me. And it's only been in probably the last month, maybe not as long as the last month. And that would that's what dawned on me. It's that the um Tiris, who's who is the artist behind this deck, we put so much into it our intention you know we put our heart and souls into creating this deck oh yeah and you know my god the, we had hours of skype conversations and you know oh we it, it took us i think it took, took us six or seven months to to nail down every dragon for tourists to create that they, they, they were already written the profiles were written for each and each dragon um story if you like was already written and their message was already written uh, they got they got tweaked obviously once because once Tiris had brought them to life because it's like oh actually a mm -mm, bit of a tweak here but a bit like you were saying with that lady you know that's that's now passed over they there was a bit of a tweak here and a bit of a tweak there but we put absolutely everything we could into creating the best deck we possibly could for people to have a, have a difference in their lives with pulling one of these things there was a situation, um, so I launched at Yule in um, Avebury, which is the Avebury, if you're in Canada, you don't know Avebury. It's the largest ancient stone, world, stone circle in the world. So it's 6,000 years old and it's the biggest. I guess the thing is the biggest in the world. And uh, so we, we, we launched at Yule at Avebury and uh, a lady came in and bought a deck of cards. And I was back there at the summer solstice the following year and she came to me because I was doing little, you know, two, three card readings with with the with the dragon cards. And um, she came, she came and saw me and had a reading. And she said, "Do you know these dragons have changed my life this year? They've probably saved my life." She said, "I pulled a card every day because I've been through a really shit time, and it's been totally crap. And they've it, they've actually got me got me through." And it's like I just went, I don't know to cry or what to do because it's just that kind of confirmation from somebody is what this deck's for you know to get you through those bloody awful humps that you're faced with or you're at a crossroad or a transition point and you're just not sure these guys have got your back that's how that's how i am um, 
how I see them. Well, my partner, he pulled Merlin. Oh. And he had seen an owl that week. Oh, really? He's like, and he was like, oh. <laughs> like, oh, spooky, spooky. Yeah, he's in a big awakening phase himself, too. So amazing. Yeah. See, and as a Merlin as a teacher, whether you have Dragon Merlin or whether you have Merlin the Magician Merlin, either way, you've got an absolutely phenomenal teacher there. So how very cool. So so what if we um have we got any questions? So oh is Michelle saying the deck the entry from the deck's crazy amazing, thank you. <laughs> oh Patricia likes the non-border. Yeah, I like the non-border as well. That was a conversation. It was really right to take it out. I think it was probably, and you know, it's probably where I was and Tiris and I were at that time. We felt they needed a border. But also for us, it's like we were trying to play safe. We were keeping in our box because we didn't know how, how they were going to be received and whether they'd be any good, if people would like them, they'd resonate. And so, of course, by putting a border on, we immediately put the dragons into a box and including ourselves. Oh. You know, and this is what, you know, I've thought about since. And we began to realise that because, you know, as a – as an indie publisher just selling through Amazon in the UK and my website, I sold 1,250 copies worldwide, obviously yeah. one of which was to, 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 your, to your shop out there. And I, that was like, that's incredible, you know, for little old me in England, on my Todd, I'm not a company, I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm a one person. And we sold 1,200 copies. And now we've sold out the first print run in the first month. So Watkins have sold, I think, nearly... I don't know if it's either four, I can't remember if it's four or 5,000 copies worldwide. Nice. And we haven't hit Australia, New Zealand, South Africa or France yet. because They're being printed in French. Nice. Um, and they get, they launch in French on the 20, in April, 2021. And they then hit the Australian, New Zealand and South African market at some time in January. We're just waiting for that date. So we haven't done, we haven't hit that market yet. So the, uh, the initial print run that we did sold out basically within a month perfect which is like oh my god but that's because we took the border off and i'm sure it's because we took the border off we've given the dragon yeah. wings <clears throat> yeah so and that's well, what they need shifting so hard it makes sense that they'd be free now yeah completely and it's oh, they, they oh. need that message i forgot to introduce someone else oh who have you got <gasps> oh my god yeah <laughs> Oh, yeah, I spied that as soon as before we went. I was like, oh my God, I love that girl. Oh, come on, please Sorry. tell us about your, your pink, your bra. Is it rose quartz? So, yes. So, this is Venus, and she is 70 pounds of rose quartz, and she is a, tr she is a master skull. Okay. What does that mean? That means she's very strong and she has a lot of energy. Um, I'm currently sitting on a pink rug that I had to buy her, and above her head is a fancy pink light that i had to buy her and she has gorgeous pink statues beside her i have pink hair i don't like the color pink i never <coughs> ever like if you told me even two years ago i was gonna have pink hair and i'd tell you that you were off your nut because there's no way i was gonna have pink hair now my hair is white so it's easy to have pink hair because i'm an, i'm a ginger but yeah so she's got a lot of energy and she brings a lot of <sighs> when i moved out to the lake i find that's when i started to connect with the, Af the Aphrodite and Venus energy, and I didn't realize that I was. Oh. But yes, yeah, so it's very much about love. But anyway, she wanted to say hi, and I was I was getting scolded when you were talking that I didn't mention her name, so I'm sorry. <laughs> it's funny how they do have this chat to us, don't they? And they have the. She's I've quite got... loud. <laughs> is she quite loud? Because she... I've got I've I've had skulls for. I don't know, best part of 20 years, I suppose. And they sort of just sit. Okay, occasionally, occasionally they'll go into a grid, as I'm, especially if I'm doing sort of grid for a land healing or anything like that or um, planetary work. I'll, I'll create a grid and I'll, I'll use them in that. Yeah. Um, but they're all very, very quiet. I've never really connected to them until I got a skull. Now, she's... I don't think she's up here. I think she's downstairs. Now, those of you that watch me will, will have met a Scarlet because she's a bit shouty. <laughs> she, she must be downstairs. And she's a, she's a Sonora Sunrise. And <coughs> I saw her at the hen shop. Um, must have been some point late last year. 
and I was looking at them. Oh my goodness! Because they are. I, I, are they Red Jasper and and, and Chrysocolla, Sonora Sunrise? Do you know? Do you know Sonora Sunrise? I'm not as familiar with it, but I think it's Chrysocolla and something else. Yes. Yeah. I don't and, have and those right now. It's whatever whatever it's made of. It's absolutely stunning. I was looking at these little skulls, and this one drew me, and I was like, oh my god! And how? How I react to crystals now has changed over the years. And if it, uh, as crystal, a crystal wants me, is that I can feel her now because she's banging in my third eye and it hits me in the third eye. It always used to be somewhere else in the body, sort of heart or wherever. But yeah, she's shouting at me from downstairs. <laughs> I can, I can <laughs> feel her. Right. <laughs> you know, she's, but she's below me and to the, to the right of me and I can hear her. Yeah. Um, but it's really interesting that it's only since I, I've got a Scala. And I, I'm not brave enough to sit with her yet because I, I've got no idea what she's going to say. I dare say it'd be quite profound. Well, and I know have, there's nothing to be afraid of, right? It's just how much no. time you have for anything else. At the yeah. And I need to, I know I need to give her the time and probably have a day or so to process what comes through from that. And, um, I do, I'm, I've, I'm actually shutting down at, at Yule. I'm shutting down, for, I'm shutting the business down for three weeks. I'm going to have I'm going to have at least two days to to sit with the Scala and see what she's got to say. But she's really quite funny because apart from being shouty, I've got no idea what she shouts about. She just makes her presence known. Hey. Um, she's very funny. Who she'll be around, crystal wise. She yeah. gets right arsy. If I put her back to a next to a skull that or a crystal that she doesn't like, she really shouts about it. <laughs> and it's I just find that. I, so she's obviously got quite a message for me and she feels very dragon dragon-esque so she's she carries a dragon energy with her i think so um, i'm actually looking forward to having some time to really explore that energy with her maybe she um, maybe this is her purpose right maybe her purpose is to communicate for another oh. purpose that is too big maybe to communicate the way normal i don't know maybe it's like that Maybe yeah, because it feels arc. huge. Yeah. It yeah. feels vast. Yes. Yes. That makes sense. Could be. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. How are we doing for time? Right. Have anybody got any? I need to scoot in about four minutes time. So if anybody would like to. um, So let me just say hi to some of your ladies that have joined us. We've got Ray from Ontario. Um, Amanda's not wanted to mind. So hi, Amanda. Um, Who else have we got? Oh, I'm going the wrong way at this thingy. Oh, move up there. Hi, Kaz. Um, yeah, you are late because I'm finishing in about five minutes' time, Kaz. <laughs> I think that's my Ray. Oh, is it your Ray, is it? I think, well, no, she's on your site because yeah. she's one that's of your my Ray from Your Ray from Montario, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got, who else we've got? We've got Amanda. So is Amanda one of yours? I don't she's know. Got a name I know. I can't see the comments on my site. Oh, bless you. Okay. So, uh, so what uh, Emma's saying, she, um, let me just stick it up so you can see, so I can show. So I'm saying, um, didn't used to do pink either, had to change, not because of skull, but because of beagle called famous. <laughs> I've been lucky enough to share my life with more than one wise dog. I was talking to a girlfriend of mine about exactly this this, after, this morning on our long walk. Uh, famous was love. Um, she didn't she didn't just love pink, she was obsessed with it. <laughs> pink blankets, harness, lead coat. We put pink into my life too. So I know how it feels to be surrounded by pink. So Colleen wouldn't choose. I love it. That That's is funny. just, I just love it. I, the, it's, and the thing is, I was talking to a, um, a girlfriend of mine. We were out on this <laughs> incredible long hike with our dogs this morning. And we were saying how much we've, we've, we've learned from our dogs and how much that our, our dogs teach us. So isn't that fantastic? Yeah, will you come back and join me again sometime uh, next Anytime. year? Yep, for sure. Because uh, I've really enjoyed this, and I think you know it's, it's something different for your guys, for my guys. And um, you always always learn something, don't you? Whenever you do anything like this, and so do put your make sure you put your links up onto onto here be, be, when, when we're done onto the onto the page when we're done, darling. Yes, I will. Because um, I do. I, think I, do I have, have to do it when we're done because I don't. Yeah. Think, I haven't been able to figure out how to do it otherwise. No, absolutely. Oh, Kelly's just saying she's started being drawn to crystal skulls. Uh, she has a small uh, rose quartz one. Where would you – let's just stick this up so Kelly can see it, um, Rhonda. Um, so she's a small rose quartz one. What would you suggest 
to go to get next oh honey it's it's it, the the thing is with the metaphysical is that you don't want to be analytical right mm. so you want to um just feel it right so and you can look at them online and you can go to shops it doesn't really matter just trust your heart knowledge because your soul is always trying to show you the truth through your eyes so when you look at something and go ooh, that's the right one you don't have to know all the different things about all that because that's just your brain and that's a liar. So it doesn't really matter. But if your eyeball goes, ooh, pretty, that's the next one. Yeah, it does get you, doesn't it? Say is, How you doing? Because I have one that does that. But he just likes to flirt with everybody that comes through the door. His biggest kick is trying to get, is get he gets people that have no phys metaphysical knowledge that don't even know why they're in my store to rub his head. And I'm always, there'll, there'll be these men that are standing there rubbing the skull's head and they go, I don't know why I'm doing this. And I just smile. I'm like, I do. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. Thing. But yeah, it's, it's very heart. It's heart knowledge, right? So it's what feels right. It's not, you don't, it's not something that you need to understand in your head. It's what you, it's what you already know in your heart. And so it'll go twinkle, twinkle when you see it. And that's all you got to know absolutely yeah because i've got i've got a that um what have i got i've got a uh a, a lapis uh a fluorite uh smoky quartz my serona, serona sunrise or sonora sunrise and then i've got a oh my god what is it it's one of the it's, it's a purpley one but it's oh, oh god! It's, it's, it's not it's not the the the, the, the shungites or the sugites or any of those. It's much much paler, and it's like oh, very crackly. Is it lepidite? That's it, the pedalite. That's it. Yes, because it's very very crackly, um, and it was like a oh, I've got to have you. <clears throat> and I, it's actually funny. He was talking. He's he actually was, he was actually nudging at me yesterday the day before I was in my dragon room downstairs. It's like I was looking at him thinking, okay, if I'm going to do something with you, then something happened. The phone rang, I think, and that it was gone. Um, but yeah, so I think he might be my next one to to maybe to work with once I've got once I've got some um, a scala sorted out. <laughs> what well, she's got because it's going to be a big download, I think, from her. With you, it's just as you just need to give yourself the space. Yeah. To just do it, right? Totally. So you're like, I've already got a lot of things going on right now. <laughs> but yeah, completely. If you just give yourself a few minutes, like with the, what I find with doing the meditations every single week, um, when I'm in meditation here, because the energies are so strong, it's like your face is melting and it's black. But then the next week, it's like epiphany, epiphany, epiphany. And it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's well worth it. It's just, it, but it's not, it's not like, it, like picking a skull. I find it doesn't necessarily go here right it goes in here so it goes through the crown and then out the heart and yeah. so when the information comes in now some people can see la la whatever but that's not necessarily how i find it works i find that it's just it's epiphanies you're just like damn woo, and it's freaking cool especially if you're walking a lot too it, it doesn't take a lot of time you don't have to spend a lot of time with them if you commit no. to an hour even once a week is what i do and that's yeah. that's plenty that's actually probably quite a good idea actually it's probably when i when i finish teaching on a sunday night because at the moment i'm running a sunday night course um so when that finishes in three weeks two two weeks time so which which coincides with me finishing for christmas um so i think uh once i've finished that i think maybe my sunday nights might be actually sent spent sitting in 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 my dragon room actually meditating on a sunday night and actually make that my time because you know we're all guilty of this i mean unless we physically create carve that space out for us we don't do it and i've got exactly. so, many, so many balls in the air i do and that's been my my intention setting for 2021 is actually to make sure i carve some proper time out for me even if it starts on a sunday night <laughs> yeah and that's perfect I do have my skull crystal skull meditations on my Facebook page um, oh, do you? On, on my YouTube videos. So are in my videos. So if you ever wanted to see how we do it, I talk a bit at first and I do guided for the first half and then off we go. Oh, I shall pop onto those and go and have a look. I didn't know you did that. I shall go and have a look. Now somebody's just, Pamela's just said, I can see you doing uh, a crystal skulls card cards actually i've just been gifted a brand new set um it's, it's on its way to me there's a lady that i met in Avery, again in Avery. i spend a lot of time in Avery. um that has just she was given a summer solstice uh because she's a skull lady 
to create a set of crystal skull cards and she gets on very well with philippe and dominique at the hen shop who've got a, a large collection of crystal skulls and dragon skulls and things and they're very they're very much skull people and um so philippe did all the photographing oh, okay. and um uh terra launched or they, they were released they were released on sale i think on wednesday last week i ordered two they actually uh she actually launches properly on the 13th of december so as soon, as soon as my cards as soon as my cards come i will i'll give you a walk through on my page with them because uh they are they are stunning they're there and i did a, a so i've seen a couple of messages that she's that she's done from them and they just blow your socks off so uh yeah good stuff and it, it's all oh shit and it's all connected isn't it you know the dragons the skulls or whatever it's all connected so which is what i um which i which i absolutely love so um Annette's asking about uh your facebook pages i know it's under row rose amanda's just asked asked answered that for you right guys i've got to run because i've got a i'm teaching at six o'clock uk time it's now nearly 10 to nearly 10 to 6 so i need to go and have a wee get a drink because my yeah. voice is going already Rhonda, thank you so much for joining me oh you're so welcome thank you very much for having us oh total total pleasure um, and we will hook up a date again and maybe hook up again at some point next year and do it all again. Sounds good to me. Fantastic. Right. Big love, guys. Thank you bye. so, so much. Take care. Bye. 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 bye.